Hi, welcome back. This is James, founder of Radio.co. In this video, we're going to look at statistics and reports. As you can see, we've gone away from our demo account, and I'm going to show you some stats from one of the radio stations that I run, which is Birdsong Dead FM. Birdsong just plays tweeting birds all day. It's great, very relaxing, and um, gets quite a few listeners. I've been running it since 2008. So I thought I'd use this as a little demo to show you inside stats and reports. So first of all, let's go through stats. This is the overview. Um, what the overview does is basically give you an overview of what's happening right now. And as you can see at the top here, we have various controls. I can skip forward and backwards and I can choose today, yesterday, this week, this month. So let's have a look at the monthly stats. Um, go along, starting at the top, total listeners for this month, 21,000, 7,330 unique. That kind of tells me that, you know, everyone who's listening is kind of coming back and listening again and again. Peak listeners, that's just talking about the most simultaneous listeners that I have got at one time. Average listening time, we're just under an hour. That's really good for an internet radio. Um, so people are actually very engaged with this radio station. Moving down here, we have a kind of a pretty graph, which currently is showing me the split between different countries. OK, so this will show me over the time period, you know, how many people I've got and the sort of uh, if I hover over each section. And in fact, I'm just going to switch off other, uh, other now. If you click on these, you can switch different sections on and off. So I'm going to turn off other because other just means every other country. And we'll just focus in on the top five countries. And as you can see, mm, you know, most of my traffic is coming from D, which is Germany, FR France, uh, the UK, the US and uh, Russia also. If I want to have a look at the platform people are listening on, again, I'll switch off other here just so you can see a bit clearly. And, you know, most people are actually tuning in on desktop. Second is smartphone. And we've also got smart speaker and tablet in there as well. And then finally, client. This actually is a bit more granular. It looks at what sort of devices people are listening on. Windows Media Player, Winamp, Bose SoundTouch, which is a smart speaker and so on and so forth. You can also look at, instead of splitting this by total number of listeners, I can look at how this is split by unique listeners, uh, average listening time, and also peak listeners. Okay. Finally, at the bottom, I have a top five breakdown just to kind of clarify exactly where people are tuned in from. And this is for the whole period which I have selected. So, for example, um, this month, you know, 14% of my traffic has been from Germany. 19% uh, has been using Windows Media Player. If I switch it to today, these stats will update and they'll kind of okay so today for example i've had more traffic from the uk more traffic from the uh, the usa than germany um and most people are tuned in today with winamp you know it gives you a great great idea of exactly how people are listening to your radio station where they're tuning in from so moving down on the left hand menu here you can see i have real time historical and ttsl i'm just going to cover these real time is what is happening on my station right this second okay so the overview gives you a historical view over what's happened in the last hour or today or this month or over a time period you give it this is actually like a live statistics uh of, of what's connected to my station right now and as you can see this graph will tick over um, and any fluctuations in listeners will be reflected here as well. I also have a long list of who's connected to my station. And I'll just go through the columns here so you can see IP, that's the IP address of the person that's connected. The client name is, is the, you know, the device that they're listening with or the, the program that they're listening with. For example, Winamp, or Windows Media Player, uh, Logitech, which is obviously some kind of smart device, Bose SoundTouch, you'll see Amazon Alexa, Google Home, all that sort of stuff there as well. A bit of information on the country, when they connected, how long they've been listening for. So for example, at the top here, I've had someone from listening for 209 minutes. It's quite a long time. I might decide I want to kick them off my station if I've decided they're listening for too long or if they think they look malicious. Or you can even ban someone by clicking on these icons at the end. Finally, I'll just draw your attention at the top. You have a nice map here, which you can zoom in and you can you know, check out where your listeners basically are uh, located, which is always really interesting. All right, so moving down the menu, historical statistics. Uh, this will give you more detailed information on total versus unique number of listeners. Again, we, we're looking at today at the moment. I can flick this to say the last 30 days. All this is, information is useful. Um, you can go back in time looking at your listener peaks, you know, what time in the day you're getting the most listeners is always handy to know. Data usage, this helps you just keep an eye on how much 
traffic uh, your uh, how much ban this always just help is useful to keep it's always useful just to keep an eye on exactly how much bandwidth uh, your station is using you can always upgrade your plan at any time if you feel like you're going to hit the limit finally average listeners per segment as you can see at the moment it says not enough data because we're just looking at a few hours if i switch that to this month okay i've switched it to monthly and as you can see now um this is really really good this graph because i think you know you want to see when most people are listening and it seems that my station is quite popular throughout the day obviously at night time you know i'm not getting quite as many listeners but afternoon is when most people are listening to the station which kind of makes sense because it's a relaxing thing that you might want to listen to in the afternoon whilst you're working finally total time spent listening this is useful for reporting purposes which will basically show the cumulative time spent listening to your radio station in hours minutes and seconds all of this data by the way can be downloaded if you want to export in csv format if you click on the download button at the top it will save it onto your computer you can then manipulate that data how you see fit using excel or upload it for licensing purposes etc finally under reports here um this is the track summary this basically shows you the number of plays for each song that you have on rotation it's very very useful for reporting it will also show you the number of listeners who heard this song this data is crucial for reporting and paying your royalties but we've tried to make it as simple and as easy as possible why should you have to spend hours and hours going through data and kind of collating this stuff this report has been designed to be as quick as just selecting the time period you want and hitting the download button and then you can fire that off to PPL, PRS, ASCAP or BMI or whatever reporting or licensing authority that you have in your country, uh, sound exchange, etc, etc. They all need this information. We've made it really straightforward to select the time period, download the data you need and submit it for licensing. Finally, we can look at recently played. This is just a report of exactly what's been played out on the radio station over the past 24 hours. All right, so that summarizes the radio.co statistics. As you can see, very easy to use and gives you some really useful and insightful data as to the success and the inner workings of your radio station, how listeners are listening, where they're connecting from, and all that great stuff. That concludes this video. In the next video, we're going to be looking at broadcasting live, how you can broadcast live from anywhere in the world, really, uh, using a computer or a laptop. So let's check it out.